Hi, my name is Matt Rines, and today I'd like to talk about hand position on the clarinet. Now, hand position on the clarinet is a technique that's not often discussed in younger pupils' lessons, and I find it lacking in a lot of high school and even college students because it's not enforced in private lessons. A proper hand position, I think, is the basis of all good technique in clarinet playing, and I think everyone should have it mastered, even at a young age. Now, a lot of young students that come to me, they have their fingers buckling back, almost in a double jointed position, and they're very curved and gnarly, and it looks very uncomfortable, and it probably is for them. They just don't know any other way. So, what I always tell these students to do is to put down their instrument, stick out both of their hands, and then relax. Relax both of your arms so that they're just kind of floating by your side without any pressure. And then, I ask them to think about holding a cup, or in this case, I have a cup, so I'd use this. I ask them to put the cup in their hand and tell me what they think. They notice the fingers are curved, naturally, and that there's about an equal amount of pressure on every finger. It's also very comfortable, even in my thumb. This is how we would normally hold things, but for some reason this does not transfer to a lot of instruments where people play with a lot of tension. So I ask them to play or to hold the cup as if they were playing the instrument. They notice how much tension and pressure immediately is put on the cup and how inefficient the cup is to hold. This is exactly what we want to avoid. So then I tell them to have their fingers relaxed again as they were before. They usually say how much more comfortable they are now as two. So, putting down the cup, keep the same hand position that you had over the cup. Now pick up your instrument. Put the thumb rest lightly over the thumb, and then naturally have your fingers curve over the instrument. You'll see this is a much more efficient position than the old gnarly one we had before. This will eventually develop a smooth and proper technique over the whole instrument. Now do the same with the left hand. Put down the instrument, cup in hand, put it in, You'll notice equal pressure, even in the thumb, same as the right hand. We hold things exactly the same way in both hands generally. Maybe slightly pressure. Okay, now put the cup down. Keeping the curved hand position, pick up the instrument, and perfect hand position every time. A lot of students, when dealing with throat keys, like the G-sharp A, and even the register key in the back, tend to play with a lot of pressure because they find that if they don't, they're not going to keep their fingers over the holes. However, with a more relaxed thumb position, or hand position rather, they can cover all of the holes and get these throat keys perfectly fine. Now, overall the advantages of a good hand position over a poor one. Generally speaking, you can play much faster and much more relaxed over time with a better hand position. Whereas, if you have a very tense hand position, your movements are slower, and you're not going to be as agile over the instrument. Also, it helps in tone and general projection on the instrument. A tense hand position, I'm convinced, creates a tense sound. So if we have a relaxed hand position that is comfortable and smooth, we're going to have a nice smooth sound. Well, I hope you learned something from watching this video, and I hope you took something away from it. My name is Matt Rhines, and thank you for watching.